Jennifer Pulley, and welcome to NASA Connect, the show that connects you to math, science, technology, and NASA. We're here at the Tech Museum of Innovation in San Jose, California. Now, you know, this episode of NASA Connect is all about robots in NASA's space program. Now, you may think of a robot as a mechanical creature that walks around, but did you know that the first person to use the word robot wasn't a scientist at all? In fact, he was a Czechoslovakian writer named Karol Čapek. In Czech, the word robota means forced labor. Now, in his play, Rossum's Universal Robots, Čapek used the word to describe electronic servants who turn on their masters when given emotions. In 1941, science fiction writer Isaac Asimov first used the word robotics to describe the technology of robots and predicted the rise of a powerful robot industry. In the 1950s, it seemed like robots were featured in nearly every science fiction movie and TV show. Like me! But since then, robots have moved from science fiction to science. Unimate was the first industrial robot used in a General Motors automobile factory in 1961. Since then, the field of robotics has advanced as computers have become more powerful and compact. With powerful computers, scientists can program robots with artificial intelligence so that they can make decisions. When I let go, it will straight away start again into the right slinky action. During the course of this program, you will be asked several inquiry-based questions. After the questions appear on the screen, your teacher will pause the program to allow you time to answer and discuss the questions. This is your time to explore and become critical thinkers. But before we take a look at all the different types of robots, here are some questions for you to think about and discuss. If you could have your own personal robot, what would you like your robot to do? How intelligent would your robot have to be? How would you communicate with your robot? Teachers, pause the program and students, write down what you think. 